Hello and welcome to the Muscarelli Museum of Art. My name is David Brashear and I'm the museum's interim director. You know, it's a difficult time for all of us and we really greatly miss having you in the museum, especially because we have two amazing exhibitions hanging in our galleries. Don't be alarmed by the dates on the title wall. We're extending both of these exhibitions. In Focus, New Acquisitions in Photography will run until August 16th and American Vision, a tribute to Carol Owens Jr., will run until October 18th. I wanted to spend just a few minutes with you on our special photography exhibition, In Focus. There are so many great works on display, and I hope once the world returns to normal that we'll be able to welcome you here to the exhibition. But today I thought I'd highlight just a few of the works on display. So let's just come around the corner and into the gallery. And what we have here is a work by Charles Scheeler. Scheeler's an incredibly important American artist. He's a painter and a photographer, and his fascination was with the industrialization of America. What he sought to do was to portray our economic advances. Well, this photograph, entitled Conversation Sky and Earth from 1939, is really typical of the subject matter to which Scheeler was so often attracted. What he captured here was the transmission tower surrounding Hoover Dam just a few years after its completion. But what you see in this photograph, rendered in black and white, is the purity of the geometry and the contrast of light as it rakes across the scene. Well, the next photo I'd like to show you is this stunning image of Harry Belafonte at Carnegie Hall from 1960 by the phenomenal African-American photographer Roy de Carava. It's the first work by de Carava in the Muscarelli's collection. We're really happy to have it. De Carava often printed only one or two images of photos he took, and so there really aren't a lot of his photos in circulation. He was born in Harlem, was originally trained as a painter and a printmaker, and he began taking photographs in the late 1940s, and he became a photo documentarian of the Harlem Renaissance. So in this photo, we see Harry Belafonte, the singer and civil rights activist, with members of the vocal group, the Belafonte Folk Singers. That evening, May 2nd, 1960, the group performed at Carnegie Hall, and that performance yielded the double live album recording entitled, Harry Belafonte Returns to Carnegie Hall. The final photograph I wanna point out is this amazing winter scene by the accomplished photojournalist, photographer, and filmmaker, Ruth Orkin. She was published by many of the leading newspapers and magazines of the 1940s. Well, Orkin is well known for her photographs of New York City, and in this one, which is entitled Three White Stoops, West 88th Street, NYC, and is from 1952, we have this delightful play between black and white, between light and dark. And I was thinking about our time of quarantine today. I think West 88th Street may in fact be as deserted today as it was when Orkin shot this photo. But what Orkin was able to capture was the simplicity of the background to life. In a city just packed with people, a still life of sorts of a street scene. It's a great photo. We have so many more great works in this exhibition. I'll be sure to share more of them with you. I wish you all the best and thank you for joining me today.